Okay, back with the last pack. Tim Drew. And we got Brent Butler. Matt Anderson. These guys look very familiar from last year. Jason Standridge. Placido uh, Polanco. And Gil Mesh. So these were not so hot this time. Uh, we'll open the last two packs here and see what we got here. The 4400. Uh, so I think I got an autograph of somebody I've never heard of. I don't remember if there were two hits per box or one. That I, I found this at the way bottom of the, the three for a dollar box. I'm sure there was some better stuff in there, but I loved it. Uh, the returnees. This is probably Spoiler Alert City. If you ever watched the 4400. I've seen people find the 4400 series, complete series, at Dollar Tree. But I haven't found it. A lot of these big box sets... If you're not the first one there to get them, then you never get them. Uh, oh my gosh, the uh, Naruto uh, needs scissors to be opened. Oh my gosh. Well, shoot. Oh, it's probably worth more as a sealed pack than a... Ah, oh, my gosh. What did they do? I'm, I'm sure there's nothing special out of these. I don't know what to... But you know, it's good autograph material perhaps. Oh no. Don't do that. You don't know how hard this is to open this pack. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna damage the cards. Wow. Um, hmm. What do we do? What do we do? What do, we do? There we go. I got him, I got him, I got him. Okay. Hot Spring. Deformable Body. Sasuke Uchida? Uhicha? Uchicha? I don't know. Uh, here's one that's in Goldfield. Kasaki Hataki. Ebisu again, uh, Carrier Kite, Earth Style Underground Movie Jiu Jitsu, Jutsu, uh, and that's the back of them. I have some of these, uh, but I don't know. These don't look familiar. Maybe it's a different set. I bet you it's a different set that I've ever seen here. That's a sand, something sand here. And somebody words you wanted two bucks for it, so who knows? What was this from? 19, oh, it doesn't matter. Anyway, that is the end of the LCS. I mean, look at all this. Look at all that that I have to clean up right now. What a mess. Uh, I mainly went for pages and some other things. So anyway, uh, let me know what I did, how I did. And that was fun to do for 10 bucks. And thank you for watching. Okay, hope everybody is doing well today. I decided to do a mail day because a lot has come in. And when I say a lot, I mean a lot. I got, I think, 10 autographs from eBay. And I got um, 12 packs, or 12 or 13 packs from the local card shop. So without further ado, I'll get into that. And I got one autograph request. I guess we'll start off with that. So the autograph request was sent to none other than San Antonio, Texas. Hopefully everybody has uh, got out uh, in time uh, for the big honking storm that's coming through. Tu dual storm or whatever. And I wrote to somebody I've never thought of in a million years. I saw a picture of this guy and I almost wished that I had sent him a picture. But a lot of these older guys sign in pen and doesn't work well with a glossy photograph. So I sent this instead. And this is to uh, Terry Slazak. Now you're wondering who is Terry Slazak. He was some sort of cameraman or something uh, for uh, the Apollo missions. And he was the first man to touch the moon dust. So when I guess he was checking the film on the camera, he got to uh, uh, touch some moon dust. And I guess they quarantined him or something like that for a little bit figure out what the effects of that touching that moon dust would and you can see there's a damaged spot over here and um, that is because I'm going to put a picture over that of Terry Slazak hopefully the one where he's uh, touching the moon dust or something you know something to that effect so that is really pretty cool if you have not read up on Terry Slazak it's a pretty interesting story different kind of quarantine I guess but that was really cool to have that one another NASA success so you History buffs should uh, try to write him. That's really pretty cool to get that. So without further ado, we're going to do the packs uh, last. And we're going to do the autographs next here. So in random order here. Now I'm not going to go through all these guys' careers. You can look them up on the computer here. Uh, but we have, and uh, some of these are pro debut cards. Mostly they're old prospects. But we have LJ Mazzilli. I believe son of Lee Mazzilli. So that is really, really pretty cool. LJ Mazzilli. I want to say that these autographs were done spring training. That's my guess. Um, 
and um, the seller has multiples and that sort of thing and I looked at the autographs and they're always legit and uh, so I'm really happy uh, we have another pro debut here of striker Trahan I'm not sure if he's related to other Trey Hans. Uh, we have Carlos Perez. A lot of these people have kind of uh, been through baseball and have gone to their respective countries. So Perez, I can't remember if he was a Venezuelan or where he's from. But there's that one there. Uh, Kyle Lobstein. Not sure if he's still with the, uh, I don't think he's with the, uh, this is 2015 card. I don't think he's with the Tigers. But this was, I think, two bucks, uh, free shipping. And I needed that for my set. So that's cool to get that one signed. Another Bowman card here. I like getting the Bowman cards. Uh, this is um, Parker French. Uh, I believe my LCS just didn't have any of this kind of base cards like this anymore. This is the kind of stuff I like to grab for autographing. Uh, we have a shout out to Zane Savage who's doing uh, the heritage type design. Um, the fan favorites heritage type design whatever. And I got Jeff Ames of the Stone Crabs. That was really cheap. I'm closer to a dollar for that one. Now, here's somebody you may have heard of. Daniel Robertson. I think he's currently with the Giants, and he played for the Rays, maybe. I think that's who that was. I think that's who that is on the Rise card. And, yes, another Daniel Robertson, uh, nice on a Heritage card. So that's really cool on a thin blue Sharpie. Really cool. So a lot of these graphers, you know, who do that all day. Uh, here's a James Baldwin the third, I think. That's really pretty cool. And another pro debut. And a first Bowman card of Ryan Brett. I no relation to George Brett as far as I know. But you can correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, it has a whole bunch about him on the back there. So that is really cool to get those in. I did not find any pages or top loaders at the LCS. But I did find a slew of packs here. And I'll start with the three for a dollar ones here. Here's the NFL official uh, final update to Pro Set. I'm going to leave that sealed, but if you can read that well enough, it's got Art Shell, Lemuel Stinson, Tyrone Braxton, David Treadwell, blah, 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 blah. Uh, it doesn't look like a lot of hot players here, here. So uh, Herschel Walker, okay, that's all right. And then I grabbed another 4,400, and Ed will be surprised. I found this in the junk bin. I don't know what it was doing there. Maybe it got mixed up for the dollar bin, but it was in the junk bin way at the bottom. So I imagine it was there. The, the three for dollar. I may not open those right now. The 4400 um, I bought all those packs and ended up with an autograph from the set. But what I'm going to open is these 2000 rookies from Team Best and I'm going to open up these uh, 98 from Team Best. I believe there were five per box in this one here. Autographs five per box. I think these are maybe two cards per box. I couldn't find the odds. They have a bunch of 98, I'm sorry, 99 for $10 a box there. Let me know if there's anybody good at 99. Ryan Christensen, Curtis Gay, Brant Ust, Oost, and I think there's numbered cards in here. Here's a dual card of Pat Burrell. Shout out to Mike and, and Ray and Ed and all the other Philly people I can't think of right now. There's Pat Burrell. I guess that's him on both sides. That's cool. Dual card. Marlon Bird. That's pretty cool. Was he a Philly? No. I don't know. Uh, Kevin Hooper. Nice bald Kevin Hooper. Wow. And some sort of interesting card there. I'll try to get this done here because my camera likes to time out on me. I don't have the settings right on here. Time's out at 10 minutes, I think. Uh, we have... Casey Burns, Chris Sampson, Mike Bynum, an autograph of Austin Kearns. Sweet! That is neat. Right there, right there. Autograph of Austin Kearns. It doesn't say congratulations. Yeah, yeah it's, there's some sort of congratulations on the mat. Neat. Jonathan Berry and Jeremy Ward. This is already turning into, I need to grab all these. Some of them are two per box. Um, and I left all the two per box ones there. I, did, I didn't find any of those last time. Okay, oops. I have a feeling they just broke open the boxes and just threw them in there. Josh Holiday, Bob Quinlan. Is this a numbered card? No. This is Sean Burroughs and Sean Burroughs. I tried to get his autograph when he was in high school, um, but his dad had would have none of it and kept all my cards and everything else. What a bum. Not Sean, but uh, Ryan Grip and another one of those. We'll open up all these and then we'll do the yellow ones here. I'm at seven minutes. Ha ah. ha! Try to do it at least so you can see the cards. Okay, 2,000 rookies. I don't know what a box of these goes for. 2009, they have them for 
Casey Burns again, Ben Sheets, Joe Thurston, Kip Wells, Andy Phillips, and Ken Harvey. I should have pre-opened these, but that way you know I'm not cheating here. So I got another seven more packs practically. Tino Pasuki. A lot of these guys are really hard to find. Um, ooh, Mike Lincoln autograph. So that's pretty cool. I don't know Mike Lincoln. They're in thin black sharpie. Hard to see. Dustin Pate. Ryan ba ba or Bear Loader or something. I've heard of these names, but not recently. And again, these guys have played in the 90s and the mid-2000s. Um, not so easy to find their autographs. They've kind of disappeared into oblivion. Oh, sorry, I don't mean to show you. Mike Mallory. Jason Moore was backwards for some reason. Jerome Williams. Jeff Austin, different border. But yeah, I saw in their box on the LCS, they had some of these that were um, numbered. So they must have gone through a few of them just to see what they got and probably was like, oh, this is worthless. Getting guys I've never heard of. And that's true. 99% of this is product of guys you've never heard of. Charlie Fraser. Ryan Kibler. Who's Ryan Kibler? Chris Testa. Oh, Pat Burrell for those... Philly fans. Ooh, 21 of 150. 150. Wow, I should probably send that off to, I'd send it off to PSA or, or SGC or one of those places, but it's got a squished corner there, so it'd come back at 8 or 7. Dustin Pate. These were all, after all, in a big bin. Rubbermaid tote. Okay, 9 minutes. 1 minute for 4 packs. Let's see if we can do it. I'll have to probably, Dustin Pate again, Dominic Woody, Mike Hill. Nobody I've ever heard of. Jeff Austin, Ben Hickman, and Tino Pasuki. Now we're going to do the 1998. That's the one I got the most autographs out of, and I probably ended up with all of them, so unfortunately these will probably be... But you never know. You never know with collation. Troy Glaus, that's somebody I've heard of. Bruce Chen, I heard of him. Matt Anderson, maybe. Vernon Wells, Julio Romero, and Josh Paul. It looks like the ones I got last time. Uh, so I think they might have had two series. I'm not sure. The collation on some of these were terrible. Uh, what we have here, Willie Martinez, Ramon Hernandez, Russell Branion, uh, some advertising, uh, Luis Rivera, Calvin Pickering, and Donzel McDonald. Donzel McDonald. He had a farm. E-I-E-I, -E -I, five seconds. Okay, back with the last pack. Tim Drew. And we got Brent Butler. Matt Anderson, these guys look very familiar from last time. Jason Standridge, Placido de Polanco, and Gil Mesh. So these were not so hot this time. Uh, we'll open the last two packs here and see what we got here. The 4400, uh, I think I got an autograph of somebody I've never heard of. I don't remember if there were two hits per box or one. That I, I found this at the way bottom of the, the three for a dollar box. I'm sure there was some better stuff in there, but I loved it. Uh, the returnees, this is probably spoiler alert city. If you've ever watched the 4400, I've seen people find the 4400 series, complete series at Dollar Tree, but I haven't found it. A lot of these big box sets, if you're not the first one there to get them, then you never get them. Uh, oh my gosh, the uh, Naruto uh, needs scissors to be opened. Oh my gosh. Well, shoot. Oh, it's probably worth more as a sealed pack than a... Ah, oh, my gosh. What did they do? I'm, I'm sure there's nothing special out of these. I don't know what to... But you know it's good autograph material perhaps. Oh no. Don't do that. You know how hard this is to open this pack. Oh my gosh. I'm going to damage the cards. Wow. Um, hmm. What do we do? What do we do? What do, we do? There we go. I got him. I got him. I got him. Okay. Hot spring. Deformable body. Sasuke Uchida, Uhicha, Uchicha? I don't know. Uh, here's one that's in Goldfield. Kasaki Hataki. Ebisu again. Uh, Carrier Kite. Earth Style Underground Movie Jiu Jitsu. Jutsu. Uh, and that's the back of them. I have some of these. Uh, but I don't know. These don't look familiar. Maybe it's a different set. I bet you it's a different set than I've ever seen here. That's a sand, something sand here. And so many words you wanted two bucks for it, so who knows. What was this from? 19, oh, it doesn't matter. Anyway, that is the end of the LCS. I mean, look at all this. Look at all that that I have to clean up right now. What a mess. 
Uh, I mainly went for pages and some other things. So anyway, uh, let me know what I did, how I did, and that was fun to do for 10 bucks. And thank you for watching. Thank <laughs> you.